Hello flames, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good time. Welcome back to the channel if you're new. My name is Chris, aka okay, the IT guy. And in today's video, I'm going to come back to the Java developers. So I'm going to show you how to install the favorite and most wonderful IDE of all times, which is now the IntelliJ IDEA 2022. I'm going to show you how to install this IDE on Windows 11 through simple steps everyone can follow along. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we are going to do. So uh, the first thing that you have to have is the internet. So uh, to be able to get the setup from the office official website so after now connecting to my internet i'm going to open the google chrome as my favorite browser and inside the google chrome i'm going to type entry j idea like this one and press enter there will be a lot of uh, such results from the search and you can see that there will be this link from jetbrains.com and this is now the uh, description about Interage idea so i'm going to go ahead and click on the first link to get this and i'm going to do this and wait and once you are on the official website you see that it will welcome you with this uh, Interage idea uh, logo and all other information on here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the download button and click on download. When you take a closer look, you will see that there will be a lot of hosts and uh, as this IntelliJ idea can uh, run on Windows, Mac OS and the Linux. There will be also two versions for Ultimate and for the community. And for the Ultimate, it will be the, the, the premium one. If you want to try it, you can try it and get the, the 30 days trial. After the trial, you will pay to get it for. But as we are trying to to learn like simple Java and Android apps uh, using TerryJ, I'm going to click on download for the community version and I will get the setup of this. So as I click download, I will wait for a bit and there will be this pop up for the download. I'm going to click on start download and the download speed will depend upon your internet connection and the, the speed of your computer. So you have to wait until this is now complete. So to make this video short and neat, I'm going to speed for a bit. So so for this download to end and they will continue with further processes. All right, cool. And once now the download is complete, I'm going to minimize the browser so as to have a clean workspace like this. And I'm going to go ahead and click on open to open the setup and to start the installation. So I'm going to wait for the installer to start. And boom, this is now the install wizard that we are going to go through. And without so much of thinking, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on next. And there will be this instruction path as it will be on uh, program files, JetBrains, IntelliJ, Idea Community Edition 2022.2. And you can change this folder according to your choice, but I like to leave the default so as to avoid future errors in my applications. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next and it will give us a lot of options here. It will ask us if we want to create uh, the icon of IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition on desktop. As I am having this pie charm, I'm going to create to check this and I'm going to check this to add the variable to the path and it will ask us, it will request to restart even though we you not do that during this installation you can do that right on so i'm going to uh, check this too i'm going to update the context menu and i'm going to associate all the java files uh, with um, the interj community uh, edition i'm going to create on this i'm going to create connect no, to click on next and i'm going to click on install and the instruction will start and it doesn't take a long according to the processing power of your computer so i'm going to click on show details to see what's going on here so if there will be an error you can be able to tackle it very well and tweak around so i'm going to wait for this to continue so i'm going to wait for this to end and continue once this is complete 
all right cool cool and once now the installer is complete i'm going to uh to leave this checked as it you want to manually reboot later so i'm going to leave that checked if you wish to reboot your system uh, later away you can go ahead and reboot but for the sake of finishing this uh, video i'm going to to click on finish and to leave that as i want to manually reboot later I'm going to click on finish and uh, as you can take a closer look to your desktop there will be this icon for IntelliJ idea community I'm going to double click on it to uh, to open it and wait for a bit and to be ask as if you want to import some of the settings for example if you were previously using another PC and it contains some settings of your favorite you can use this option to uh, to do that but as you're going to set this as a new one I'm going to choose the do not import settings and I'm going to click on OK and to launch like this all right and once it's launched you can go ahead and click on new project um and it will check for the gdk and it will ask us for the name of the of the project i'm going to call this ahano media for example an media like this one then it will be in this location you can change it if you wish to and i'm going to uh, choose this to create a git repository for java and i'm going to leave all these uh, as they are so i'm going to click on create and in this case we will try to create our project and we have to wait for a bit all right cool and once i am in here uh, you can see that you was able to create this project and when you take a closer look to your left side uh, on the left navigation pane there will be a lot of options i'm going to click on the uh, on source or src and i'm going to create to create to create a new and i'm going to create a java class and i'm going to call this for example let me call it hero uh, world and i'm going to to press on enter and i'm going to click on add and it will try to make this uh, a function so i'm going to press enter and i'm going to try to to write like public uh, static void main and I'm going to do it like this as uh, always and I'm going to put X like this and I'm going to try to, to do like system dot print line and I'm going to put for example let's say um, uh, let me say hello flint please subscribe and I'm going to put this semicolon to finish with this um, you forgot to put out and I will do like this one all right cool so I'm going to go ahead and click on start or this line button and I'll click on here and wait for this to run when there is no error you will see the results on here so let's wait for a bit and you can see that it was able to 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 detect this uh, string in here and it was able to output it to the screen i hope guys you find this video interesting and you have fun and enjoyed uh, installing it in your pc let me know if you met with any problem during the installation and if you did like this video go ahead and press like if you are coming on the channel for the first time make sure you subscribe for the upcoming videos like this one so uh, i will see you guys in the next one peace